So uh, on a more individual kind of designer level, is that arms race also true? So if you're a designer that buries your head in the sand and doesn't embrace AI, are you going to end up effectively left behind? I think there are, there are two ways to look at it. I mean, obviously, from my perspective and from what I do and, and you know, what, what I consult on, I'm trying to prevent designers from falling into the trap of falling behind. Because, yes, I think AI is, you know, it's been over said, but AI is here to stay. The pace of progress has been incredible. The capabilities, whilst fragmented within design, um, lots of different services do lots of different things. I'm sure it will, over time, you know, homogenize into a number of different services that offer um, have good solutions for different problems. I think designers that can that can utilize those well will be head and shoulders more hireable and also head and shoulders more capable above those that can't. Not in terms of their creativity and the quality of their thinking. That I think is something that's innately at a design level, it's innately human. But I think for clients looking for creatives to essentially produce work for them, those that are versed with the traditional tools that have the capability, that have the quality of thought, that have the quality of output, but that can utilize AI models to enhance themselves and to augment themselves. Yeah, I think those that can't do that probably will start to become less less appealing 